Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to Steak Insanity. Today is, I don't even know what day it is. It's um, day 88 of my carnivore diet. Um, I haven't done an update in quite a few days. And I do want to get back in the habit of doing them more. I've just been super, super busy with work. Um, but I did have a couple of things I wanted to talk about that have been happening over the past few days. One of the things is, is, um, I've been doing a lot of client work and I've been doing a lot of video and podcast production. I've now got two podcasts of my own that I have to get out and I'm working for clients at the same time. So I've just been massively busy working late and I just haven't, I, I just come home at night, I'm super tired and I end up just kind of falling asleep and not really not doing the videos, but I need to get back in the habit. I really want to do these more often because I do miss doing them. So my biggest thing to talk about, I guess one thing is my weight. So pretty much through the whole month of March, my weight hasn't shifted. I've gone up and down within between sort of 93.4 and 94.4. But I've mainly been most of the month in the sort of high 93s, kilos, this is 93, sort of 0.6, 93.7 kilos. It's pretty much where I've hovered the whole time. But I've been to the gym three or four days a week and I'm weightlifting all, in most of those sessions. So what I've decided I'm doing is I'm doing weights during the week. So three or four days of lifting weights during the week. And then on the weekends, I do my cardio days. So I spend more time on the treadmill. So I do my 5k runs and stuff like that and do more cardio as a little bit of a rest for the, for the, the weightlifting part and then vice versa. So during the week I do weight training for probably half an hour, 45 minutes. And then I go and do a half an hour of very, very light cardio just making sure to stay in zone two. So I really, really watch my heart rate. I make sure that I'm not doing, I'm not doing too much effort so that my heart rate gets too high just because I want to just keep it going slowly, but for a longer time. And I only do that for half an hour. So basically I work out for an hour, hour and 15 minutes, sort of three or four times a week. And I don't, I don't have kind of a fixed routine for my weight uh, rotation yet. So loosely, I kind of do the three big exercises on three different days. So I do deadlifts one day, I do squats on my leg day, and then I do um, bench press on my sort of upper, one of my upper body days. And generally, I find that works best. And I'm trying to just keep it literally limited to like three or four main exercises every time I lift. So on a bench press day, I might do incline bench press. I might do some flies and I might do dips and I might do, um, I don't know, then I'll mix in something else kind of depending on how I feel. Maybe some triceps or, or some skull crushers or something like that. Literally, that's it. And I do that. I'm doing six to eight reps and three to four sets. So I'm lifting heavy instead of trying to, you know, do 12 or 12 reps or something like that. So I am trying to build up some strength instead of, I don't know, looks, I guess. So really that's my focus at the minute is just to try and build some core strength back again. I'm weak as, but at least I'm in there and I'm getting the workouts in. And some days I have really great workouts and I feel amazing. And other days I have terrible workouts and I really feel like I didn't do anything, but I was there and I lifted the weight. So I think that's everybody's struggle, but I just need to get myself back in the habit. And what I am finding is, is that actually really interestingly is that by the weekend, when I come around to do some cardio, because I've been doing that zone two training during the week really slowly, but just having the heartbeat just up a little bit, it's actually improving my my stamina and my speed. So I've actually been able to bump the speed up on my on my cardio a little bit on my my 5k runs, which is good. And so it, it seems counterintuitive, 
but I'm running less, but I'm actually improving my runs. It doesn't make any sense to me, but that's what that's what works. So I'm just sticking with it. Now, the diet that's going along with that, um, so this is all tied into the weight numbers as well. So I'm going to the gym, I'm lifting weights, which means that as I as I heal and my muscles are trying to heal from the workouts, they're retaining a lot of water. So I've got a lot more water weight on than I have certainly in February and before I started working out, but I'm at basically the same weight. So what's happening is I'm going through that change where I don't think I'm putting on huge amounts of muscle or anything, but I am offsetting the, the, the fat loss that I think I'm having still with the muscle and the water weight gain that's coming from that. So I'm not, again, I'm not concerned about the numbers, but I do find it quite interesting that normally when I go and start lifting weights, I'll, I'll gain a few kilos just from the water and everything else, and I'm not doing that. So I think it is offsetting a little bit. My clothes are certainly fitting looser, and, you know, my I mentioned, the, you know, my, my wife finally noticed not too long ago, and... Um, and she's commented in some other people that I know, you know, places that I go, like coffee shops and stuff, they're starting to notice now. So I, th- I think all that's happening is, is that through this process that my body is changing shape. And that's brilliant. That's fantastic. So I'm quite happy with that. I'm not worried about it does. When you look at the numbers, it does feel like you're stalling, or at least I feel like I'm stalling. But... I am trying to actually put on a little bit of muscle and to try and gain some of the muscle back. So that's just going to be the way it's going to be. So it's just going to, well, we'll see what happens over time. So there we go. Um, Otherwise, peanuts. I've actually been mainly off peanuts, which is an amazing, I'm so happy about that. Um, I've tried really hard. It's been very difficult. I'm not off of nuts altogether. I do still eat macadamia nuts and that's been my sort of crutch, uh, particularly when I'm at work and I really want to snack. My problem is snacking and I'll get into that in a minute. So I've at least got onto some macadamia nuts. I put them in the fridge. So they're, when they're cold, they're actually super crunchy and it, it hardened, they harden up and the, the fat hardens up in them a little bit. And so they're, it's a nicer texture. And so I have been snacking on those. I'm still off caffeine, so I haven't I haven't had any caffeine for I don't even know when I went off caffeine. And I do actually really like it. In fact, I've almost got my wife off of caffeine as well. So she's on decaf tea and decaf coffee. So we're going to see if that helps her with her sleep. But I'm sleeping way better. And I'm not so jittery. I don't have the, you know, kind of all the heart stuff has gone away. And that's partially diet and maybe caffeine too. I don't know. That said, with the snacking, I have been struggling massively with the diet. I have a bend, don't break approach. Um, So I haven't had anything really that I shouldn't have. I have had ice cream a couple of times. So that's been the, when I'm really, really just pressed and I, like I've really struggled with wanting to break the diet. And <laughs> oddly enough, all I think about are these videos and if I have to look at the camera and say, yeah, I, I had a bowl of something or I ate a pop tart or something stupid like that, like I would just be embarrassed it's bad enough having, you know, sort of ice cream or anything like that and peanuts. But I, I talk about that openly. But I've really, really, really had cravings for other stuff, really strong cravings. And it's been really difficult to to, to not give in. But I haven't. I haven't. And that's been the most important thing. And so... Again, the snacking, you know, having little bits and pieces of snacking during the day or whatever helps. Um, I have found that I actually feel better if I don't eat breakfast than when I do. 
And I know I think I said back in February that I felt better when I got up and had breakfast in the morning. But I, I don't know. I actually don't. I actually prefer to get up in the morning, have a decaf coffee or something like that with a teeny bit of milk in it, and then... Ugh. Excuse me. And then... Um, and then just get into my day and then go to the gym during the day. This is the other thing that I do. So I don't, I'm not waiting until the very end of the day to go to the gym. I'm actually going it either at lunchtime or in the afternoon. And I find I have more energy and I'm more motivated and it's easier for me to do if I can make that time sort of around lunchtime. And it also keeps me from kind of wanting and getting too many too much bad stuff. The other thing that I found for me personally, and people are going to flame me for this, and that's fine. You can go ahead and flame me, but I don't care. You're not me. I find that I tend to do much better and I feel better if I eat some sort of lean meats during the day for lunch. I'm quite happy to get up in the morning, have a couple eggs, bacon, ground beef. Um, excuse me. Something like that. But for lunch, I actually find that if I just have some chicken, some ham, something like that, some cold cuts, that sort of thing, and if I can get the skin on or the skin with it, then I absolutely will. And if I can, you know, I'll get the fattiest sort of meats I can get. And I'll have maybe a couple of hard-boiled eggs and kind of almost take a couple of teaspo- uh, tablespoons of mayonnaise and, and make kind of a uh, almost like a deviled egg kind of thing, then that works really well for me at lunchtime. And then I feel that tends to satiate me more than having a couple of burger patties or something like that. So I'm just figuring myself out. And, you know, we're all different and we all have to do what works for us. And that tends, I think that works for me best I feel best, I feel most confident when I do that, and then I come home at the end of the day. And if I can do that, work out early in the day, sort of either in, well, before 5 o'clock, let's say, whether it's in the morning I get up and go first thing because I have a busy afternoon, or if I do it at lunchtime or whatever, it as long as I have that something a little bit lighter during the day, I just feel better. And then I come home at night at more of a normal time instead of, Like if I go to the gym after work, I don't get home till 8.30 or 9 o'clock at night and then I'm trying to eat. And I think that's too late to be eating a big meal, you know, having three, 400 grams of, you know, steak or, or, you know, mince or something like that. It's, it's too late for me. I don't need to eat that late. So yeah, I'm just kind of figuring it out, but I, Hopefully I'm getting past the struggling bit. I think we all have a, a point where, you know, once we're, we've are we been dieting for a while and, and, you know, we've been eating this way that we have these periods of intense cravings that come and go. So I, it's been this last week and it's been super stressful with work and I don't know if maybe that's part of it and I'm trying to stress eat at the same time. I don't know. But so far I've been successful at getting through it without having anything really bad so that's my update for today um it's thursday evening before the easter holidays so my um my son's going to be around for the next couple of weeks so hopefully he'll be able to go to the gym with me i'm moving my company into a new office where i'm going to be running a podcast studio and that's going to be a lot of fun but that's going to be a lot of moving around i'm going to have to sort all that stuff out so there's going to be a lot of stuff going on in my personal life as well. So hopefully that will, hopefully over the next few days, I will give some updates. They're going to be really boring because if I'm at home all day, then I'm not doing anything and there's not a tremendous amount of stuff to talk about. But I would like to, I will be going to the gym and I would like to continue doing the update. So if anything interesting comes up over the next couple of days, I will try and update everyone and that's it. That's a long one. Sorry. It's been what 15 minutes nearly this time. So, um, thanks for your attention. If you've been watching this long, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And, uh, it helps me out to know that people are out there and it helps me 
with my self-discipline to stay on the diet because, like I said, I don't want to have to embarrass myself and tell everybody that I broke the diet for some stupid reason. So um, stick with me and we'll see how it goes. And if you're doing your own diet out there, then please stick to it. If you have any comments or you have any questions, I'll do my best to ask to answer them. And we'll see where we go from here. But anyway, have a good evening. Bye-bye.